I think they're very similar, Skip. Of everyone that's in the league, I think he probably reminds the people most of LeBron for the simple fact he's a franchise-altering player. Uh, he's a future MVP of the league. And like LeBron, he's asked to do everything. He has to score the basketball. He has to rebound the basketball. He has to facilitate the offense. And he does that at an extremely high level. And he's learning how to control the game without con dominating the game. Because a lot of times you can fall into the trap where you dribble, 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 and with two seconds you pass it to somebody else, and they got to heave up a shot. You look at him the last two games in which he's played, he's finding that fine balance. And I think Jason Kidd was the ideal guy for him. A point guard with extremely high IQ, played at an extremely high level, and so he can uh, partake some wisdom on, on, on Luka and says, Luka, having been around LeBron, LeBron James, having played against LeBron, having played against some of the all-time great players, he can take the knowledge that he's accumulated over the years and instill some of that in Luka. Skip, if you look at where they are, basically, they're very comparable. Luka's averaging 26 points a game, eight and a half points, eight and a half rebounds, eight assists. LeBron threw the same point was 27, 6.7, 6.4. So Luka's probably about two, about an assist and a half and about almost two rebounds better yep. than what LeBron was. So you can see it's the same thing. What did LeBron do in year four? He had to take down, <clears throat> take down the Pistons team that had dominated the Eastern Conference, had gone to five straight Eastern Conference, had won uh, in 2004. They beat the Lakers. 2005, I think they lost to the Spurs. But they had been back seemingly every sing single year in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's what LeBron had to go through. We know what Luka's going to have to take down. This is their sixth in, in the Steve Kerr era Western Conference Finals. They're 5-0 and in Western Conference Finals. Now, we know two, three of those they had, well, they had KD. But this is a very, very good team. So Luka's asked to do a lot of what LeBron was ha had to do. And he's doing it with a lot less athleticism. I don't think anybody thinks that Luka is on, in the, the ballpark, the stratosphere, as far as athleticism when it comes to LeBron. But, Skip, his imprint on the game and what he's asked to do and the level in which he's asked to do it is very LeBron-esque. LeBron and so I can see why LeBron says, that's my favorite player. Because he's one of the few guys, Skip, that's come in that's been asked to be a franchise-altering player, but he's asked to do all things at an extremely high level. Score, facilitate, and rebound. And he does those things at a very high level, mm. minus the athleticism. So of all the guys that's currently playing, he most reminds me of LeBron James. Skip, I call him Baby Bird, but I think everybody knows why that, because of the complexion. I mean, if you look at it, because they play totally different positions. Larry Bird was a much better shooter. He was a much better post player <laughs> Than, than, than Luca, but as far as this LeBron comparison, I can see why people. I can see why people make it skip. I really can. If you just look at the numbers, <laughs> they are eerily similar. Yeah. Yes. Then you look at the two human beings, and they're not similar at all. <laughs> because no. you want to talk about all-time shattering of mold. Luca is shattering. Yes. Because he can't jump. Nope. He can't run like Le Le LeBron can flat out fly. Yes, yes. When, when he gets untracked up court on on any kind of break situation, he can he can run. I don't know what he ever. I don't know if he ever timed in the right. forty, but you know he weighs two sixty two seventy, right. and and I'm sure he could run. I, I believe he could run under five. Oh yeah. Well, probably in his prime, he probably could run if he he trained. He probably could run four or five at least. I I believe it. At at a, and he's a huge yeah. human being yeah. at six feet nine inches tall. That's why I always said. He could have played your sport, and you yeah. said, well, the punishment factor is a whole nother issue. <laughs> yes. But but I believe, as just a red zone threat, he would have been all-time, all-time. Oh, I don't know how you could stop, because he can, he's 6'9", and he can leave. Right. Well, he, He'd have been Howard Carmichael. Remember, Howard Carmichael was 6'6". <laughs> I know, but the Eagles, I, I they thought, just throw, they I thought Harold Carmichael was just, like, freaky tall, like, yeah. like geeky freaky tall. Yes. But LeBron's not geeky at all. He, he's athletic at 6'9". Right. Okay? So... Can't jump, can't run, <laughs> below average shooter. So he's obviously he will never enter a dunk contest, nor will I believe he'll ever enter the three point no, shooting no, no, contest. No. And yet we can make a case that if if he stays on on arc, that at some point he could be in LeBron's ballpark and putting up numbers. Yes, absolutely. Because to your point, the early numbers and they're still early on Luca. Yeah. They indicate seriously. He's going to be a little better scorer than LeBron. He he just does. I don't know how he does it, but he just he, in, in the playoffs he's averaging thirty two point seven. Well, it's it's a 
it's a tick above what LeBron has added. Yeah, no, it's, it's more well, than okay. a tick. It's four. No, I'm trying to be nice about this. LeBron is 28.7. Yeah, okay. Luke is 32.5. Right. And if we look at both regular season and playoff career stats, as you point out, Luka is – He's, he's another level of rebounder. Yeah. He, he, he's a 10 rebound a game yes. guy, but he's doing it Rodman esque, where it's all below the rim yeah. and it's all on anticipation, where you're just doing basketball IQ. I see the ball go up and I think it's going to, the carom's going to go this way. So right. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to screen you off and I'm going to get it on the floor, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. And assist wise, he's a little bit ahead of LeBron James. And I, I still call LeBron the best passer in basketball. And I still believe he's a little better passer than that kid, but that kid's got the gift of, right. of seeing it and feeling it. So that kid is listed at 6'7", 230. Do you, are you buying that some, somewhere in that ballpark? Yeah, he might be a little heavier. 240, <laughs> maybe? Okay. LeBron, he might be 230 now, but I don't think he showed up to camp at okay. 230. So LeBron is, I'm pretty sure, two inches taller. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure he's 30 At least 20 pounds okay, heavier. 20 to 30 pounds heavier. And LeBron is weight room built. Yes. Like, and, and I'm not sure that kid ever goes in the weight room. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe I don't get it. He's the classic don't judge a book by its cover. Because, right. Skip, if, that, if, he, if you didn't know Luca and he showed up to the park, he's going to be the last guy taken, and he's never going to lose the court because his team's not going to lose. And you're like, how did he... How did he do that? How did he do that? <laughs> okay. He's just got some genius about him. But it's all in the confines of the lane for the most part. Yeah. He's starting to get his step back. And maybe as time goes on, he'll he'll start to improve the step back. Maybe he'll improve the three. Well, Skip, here's the thing, though. At this point, he's a better three-point shooter than what LeBron was at the exact same point. Is it, oh, you, you got the numbers at that point? Yes. At the point. No, I'm not yeah. LeBron has turned himself... But Luca, Luca is, is slightly not much. Skip, it's not like he's Steph Curry shooting yeah. a three point shot. Well, all of a sudden, Luca's playoff career is, is up to thirty seven. Yeah, LeBron's still at thirty three point seven from three for right. his play, but that's a lot of playoff games. Right. But he stays right in that that range. Right, and yet. Free throws, LeBron's got him because LeBron's in the playoffs, in the postseason, he's 74%, which is still not very good. Right. But Luka, for his playoff career, is 66.8. Yeah. Well, well, that's Westbrook territory, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. So then we, we wind it up with clutchness. Who will prove to be more clutch? Well, I've told you before, I can only go off the, the overall numbers of LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Since he entered the league and in his whole career – He's 29 of 133 in what are called clutch shots, late and close shots, 29 of 133. So that, that 104 missed clutch shots, at least he's taken a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. That is by far the most since he entered the league. And that, that's 21.8% that he's making of late and close shots. His, th then we look at uh, his three-point shooting. It's, it's way off. It's 10 of 64 in late and close. This is LeBron, and that's 15.6%. And then his free throw shooting is 21 of 38. That's 55.3% of late and close free throws. Okay. Okay. Luca is not much better in all things. He, he started <laughs> out in late and close shots. He was one for his first 10 right. in those. And now he's seven of 21, which is 33%. His three-point shooting is five of 18 late and close shots, so that's 27%. He, you could say he's a tick better than LeBron, but but neither one of them obviously ever separated and showed that, that that's what they do best. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure it's what Luka does best either. He's got a, a lot of games right. to make up on LeBron, and he's just starting to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that is he going to take care of himself so he's able to have okay, well, a long... I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because... Because that's going to be key, Skip. But we're early in his career, and he showed up this year completely out of shape, yeah. and and it, it's it's not a good look, No, man. it's not, and hopefully he learns, Skip, because, it, okay, he's able to get himself, whip himself into shape fairly quick at 24. Okay, what happens when you get 28, 29? What happens when you get 30? You know 30 is a whole different ball game. I do believe if he were to stay on this path, he can be like LeBron, a guy that has, you know, 30,000, 10, and 10. LeBron's the only one in that category. I believe he has the next best chance to have 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, 10,000 assists. Hell, he might – he might uh, his, at his total, he might be ahead – he might be 30,000, 11,000, 11,000. Mm. But, yeah, Skip, I mean, what he's asked to do at that young age, turn a franchise around, and, yeah, we're going to try to put some players around you, but the likelihood of us getting a, another all-star – 
top five, 10 level caliber talent in your prime is not very good. And he's doing it. He said, and if he were to take down the Warriors, Skip, I don't know. You, you would have so, to have a dish, put him in a different light. Is it possible that that Luca actually compares more favorably to Tom Brady than to LeBron James? No, because I think the thing is, is that, well, it all depends. How no, because Tom Skip Tom, Tom, we're looking at Tom in today's lens. But when Tom got there, Tom was not franchise altering. He was the sixth round draft pick. He was not brought in to be the savior of a franchise. It kind of like fell into his lap, and he done a he did a great job of that. Those first couple skip, they were a defensive based team. After that, they were a Tom Brady led team. Okay, but what I'm saying is, he ran the ugliest 40 yard dash yeah, ever. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just no, the period. No upper body, yeah, yeah, okay. right? Yeah. Like like a sorry looking, right. like a shameful looking dad body, right? right? Yeah. And not, not. I, I think he's more athletic than you do, but you don't consider him, a, you know, like supremely athletic right. because he's playing a position where you can figure out how to do it just right. by getting rid of the football. Yeah, neither guy's going to run fast, going to jump high. No. And it, if you you put him through shuttles or cone drills, and they're like, damn, he look like he's about to fall on every time. But somehow they get the job done at a level that very few have ever been able to do it at. Okay, because... To play quarterback, there's one skill. It's throwing the football accurately. Correct. On time to the right guy at the right place. Yes. At the exact right moment. Yes. That is the Th most that's important. That's what he has perfected at a level nobody else ever has. Right. Okay? So this guy has figured out, I can get in the lane, and even though I might not be a weight room warrior, I I've got natural born strength. I, I don't know where he gets it, but but he plays with yeah. force. Oh, he can, just, he can just lodge people, Skip. And the thing is... <clears throat> as soon as you think you're about to block his shot, you see Mikael Bridges like, I got it. And he gives you the pump fakes, and now he's the up and under laying up <laughs> and making people look foolish. Okay, but that's just basketball <laughs> genius yes! for me. In fact, I, I don't think LeBron has that kind of lane genius about him. Skip, he's so slow. Guys like, oh, I got this guy figured out. And he's, slow, he's so slow with the basketball, you beat him to the point, and he's not even there yet. So now he's like, well, since you're already there, let me go to the left hand. I'm going to lay the ball up over here. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like Luca Skip. I mean, like I said, Larry Bird was the closest thing because Larry Skip, he couldn't run. He couldn't jump. But somehow he averaged 24, 10, and 6 for a career and won three consecutive MVPs. Somebody did that in a league when they had Jordan, Elijah Wan, Barkley, Malone, uh, 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 David Robinson, Patrick Ewing. They had all them guys that were more athletic. He won three of them things straight. Mm. And yet... Larry Bird had cold-blooded killer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure yet. Now, Luke ain't gonna, I, I don't know. I Larry don't know. Larry would fight. Let, no, okay. Larry was a different skip. You, he, but you had fight. to. Yeah, you yeah. had. Because guys going to try to punk you. They're going to see how tough you actually Absolutely. were. Absolutely. And Larry wasn't going for it. Okay. <laughs> but like Larry, this kid has sneaky quickness yes. of, of foot and hand. And I can't explain it, but it's in a confined space yes. in the lane. Larry had it, too, where he could just... He could just go up quicker than you could and get the shot off. Right. Well, it requires some – because if you're slow on the uptake with right. the basketball, you're, it'll get knocked out of your hands right. or blocked. Right. Neither of them get blocked. They both have great anticipation because both could steal the ball. Yep. Yeah. No, neither one of them are going to sit down on the chair and defend you side to side, front to back. That's not what they do. Both will steal the ball. Both will he, steal – He's pretty high in steals, and Larry was very they, high. Yes, and can play the passing lanes. They have great anticipation. You, They know what you want to do. And it's like, nah, I'm not going to let you do that today. I'm going to take this one. Mm -hmm. And Luca, what that the last game, he had like four, three or four steals. He did. And and that's all but because game two, the whole theme after the game was we're hunting Luca. Right. Right? Right. Well, nobody ever hunted Larry Bird on defense that I was ever aware but of. But here's the thing, Skip. Luca has found out, and Jason Kidd has done a great job, said, look, if the guys are hunting you, you're going to need to hunt them to take some of that zap out of them. Mm -hmm. And so now what is he don't care. I mean, you watched him against Milwaukee, he go hunt for uh, 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 Giannis. You see him against the Lakers, he's like, come, hey, LeBron, can we dance? You saw him Sunday. It didn't matter. Mikael Bridges, it did not matter. Nope. DeAndre Ayton, hey, y'all won't, hey, I hear what y'all saying, because every, after every interview, after y'all win the game, oh, we was hunting Luka. We just wanted to get Luka in the switch. We wanted to get Luka in the pick and roll. The man said, I'm tired of hearing that. Mm. Guess what? Now we win the game. Oh, I was looking for the switch. I was looking for Mikael Bridges. I was looking for Aiton. I was looking for this guy, that guy. Okay, last point. I'm old school on this, and I think you are too at heart. And as much as you love that kid, 
I do not love that he laughs at the other team. He <laughs> giggles while he goes up the floor. I, you want to talk about shattering the mold? I've yes. never seen this before. Not every he, play. He, what's that? Uh, not every play. No. Every play, he's laughing and looking at the he, bench. Or... He, he's doing something. And yet, the reason he is getting away with it is because he is backing it yes, up. Yes, absolutely. And if you back it up in this league, they'll all sit back and say, Okay, yeah. laugh all you want because we can't do anything to right. get back at you. Let them start to figure him out, and they'll laugh back at him. Right. But right now, nobody retaliates because he, he's virtually unstoppable in the lane. Skip, we didn't realize how much Michael and Larry talked until they were done. Okay, but it was but subtle. It, it was whispered With in me. the ear. You know, it was all this way, and it was not public. This kid is just, like, wearing it on his sleeve yes. for all to see. I'm, I'm going to laugh. I'm having fun out here, so I'm going to giggle when I go up the court after I made a shot. Yeah, Larry Bird once told a coach, do not put the white guy on me because you're disrespecting my game. <laughs> Come on, who's, who, 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 who does that? I don't, right. think, I don't think Lucas that bold, Skip, said you disrespecting my game if you don't put somebody color on me. No. But that's how Larry thought. He's like, hey, I grew up playing with these guys, and so that, that's who I want to guard me. Show me the ultimate respect for my game mm. by putting somebody. Don't put him on me. That's mm. disrespectful. And there was the what he said to his competitors before the three-point shootout in Dallas. Mm. Hey, <laughs> nobody could get away with that except Larry La Joe Burke. Larry. And it was it's it's out of the same mold of this where the, the his rivals are just saying, well, I I, I don't have anything because I can't stop it. Ex right? Exactly. Okay. Do, do, don't think people are not trying to stop Luca. They can't. Yeah. Well, we'll see if Golden State can. He gonna get them numbers, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> they might win, but he gonna get them numbers. Mm. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.